Today, let's talk about the best class setup for the M16 Assault Rifle in Modern Warfare 2. Well, let's start off by throwing some quick maths at you. The M4 is one of the best guns in the game. The M16 should technically be four times better than the M4. That means the M16 has to be like the best gun in the game, right? You can't get mad at me. That's just basic arithmetic. So let's take a look at the attachments that I found to be the most fun. First, let's take a look at the rest of the class, starting with my secondary, the 50 GS, the Deagle. We have the SA Long Shot 50, the SA Hair Trigger, the 13 Round Mag, the GS 50 Wood Grain Grip, and the FJX Diode 70 Laser. If you want the exact tunings, go check out my class setup on the GS 50. The rest of the class is pretty standard. Tactical Stun, Lethal Semtex, Perk Package 1 is Double Time, Battle Hardened, Fast Hands, and Quick Fix. And if you know, you know, Dead Silence and Attack Insert. The first attachment is the Muzzle Device, the Echoless 80 Suppressor. Increased Range, Damage, and Bullet velocity in a silent package, smoother recoil but slower to aim. Plus sound suppression, plus bullet velocity, plus damage range, and then plus recoil smoothness, a hit to ADS speed and aiming stability. Now full disclosure, in the gameplay I'm going to show you I have on the Harbinger D20, but in terms of damage profiles, these are exactly the same. The only thing the Echoless 80 does better is that it has slightly better handling and a little bit worse recoil and accuracy, but like I just said, it's a burst weapon, there isn't much recoil anyway. So if we come into the tuning for the Echoless 80, it's completely maxed out for ADS speed and bullet velocity for me. Working our way up to the barrel, we have the 14-inch carbine shroud barrel, a heavier no-frills barrel with an aluminum heat shield. The pros are plus recoil control, plus bullet velocity, and plus hip fire recoil control. Then the cons are movement speed, damage range, hip fire accuracy, and aim down sight speed. Now that seems really scary at face value, but it does not play that badly. Like if you can see on this thing, the red slivers are like so small that they're almost negligible, especially if you compare it to like the 11 and a half inch carbine shroud, the red bars are significantly more noticeable. That's why I didn't suggest this one. And then if we come into the tuning, I have it maxed out once again for aim, walking speed, and then damage range. Moving over to the laser, we have the Corio LAZ 44 V3 laser, a lightweight 5 MW laser that increases aiming speed and stability. Laser is visible to enemies when aiming beam green. The pros are aim down sight speed and aiming stability. That's giving a lot of our handling back from the downsides of the barrel and the suppressor. And then if you know, you know the laser is visible in ADS, but who cares. It does not matter at all. Coming down to the magazine slot, we have the 45 round magazine. Mo bullets, mo beta. 45 round mag is five more bursts per magazine, which if you're into killing a lot of things in pubs, that's generally a good thing. The 15 round mag is a waste of your time. The 60 round mag is too slow. The 45 round mag is dope, but wait till the end of the video because I'll give you a suggestion if you're not into this. And finally, for the rear grip, we have the X10 grip. It's sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed with a hit to recoil control, but meh, whatever, it's a burst weapon. Honestly, the X10 grip is just the best option here because these two grips are super niche, and then the support CP90 grip, like, unless you just plan on never moving, I wouldn't recommend this one. And then if we come into the tuning for the rear grip, I have this thing maxed out for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. But here's a look at the attachments I have on my M16 in the video I'm about to show you with the exception of the silencer, which I already told you guys about, but if you're not into this if you need a little bit more mobility or whatever it may be you can replace the 45 round mag and then go into the stock and then personally i would recommend either the assault 60 stock or the ravage 8 stock the setup that is on your screen right now is the setup for the most part that i'm using in the gameplay i'm going to show you so i can confirm that this setup it's pretty good with that said though hope you guys enjoy the class setup enjoy the rest of the video if you do please consider leaving a like and subscribing on the video down below it means a lot to me it helps out way more than you know because i do post daily to this channel hope you guys have a great day one last time boys and Girls a pizza. Or like just be Jeremy <laughs> Renner. Yeah, or be Jeremy Renner. Hmm, yes. My favorite part of the game, the driller mine that comes through the entire fucking building. Neat, the guy in the hardpoint isn't peeking from this side, even though our entire team is coming from the other side. I don't know how much more pre-firing I have to fucking do. Oh, that guy is really good. Confirming next half point. Stand by. 
Yeah, they're spawning in front of me. This game is fucking flawless. Yeah, just hold that angle, Melon. You're fucking disgusting, bro. That gun's really good. Skill issue, I guess. Need to fix my internal clock. Stuck me in the forehead with a drill mine, cool. I'm on your six. Our UAV is orbit in the area. Bob off the way, be ready for tight. Target down. There you go, you got your gameplay. Now I didn't. Shit's cursed. Just 15 minutes of me shitting or getting shit on. Oh. I would have had 150 if driller mines didn't exist.